Hello Internet, this is the High School Scientist and in this video we are going to learn about the fundamental and the derived quantities. Ok so as the name suggests, fundamental quantities are basic quantities upon which the laws of physics were made and without them it would be impossible to even describe physics. So it's obvious that these are pretty important. They are length, mass, time, temperature, luminous intensity and electric current. These are the fundamental quantities that have helped to build physics as we know it today. But we cannot entirely depend upon them to solve problems or to find the answers that we want. So some extra or simplified quantities have to be derived from the fundamental quantities in order to give us a better understanding about them and to simplify the specifics of the fundamental quantities. So the quantities that are derived from or that can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities are called derived quantities. For example, area, volume, velocity, force, frequency, energy are some of the quantities that have been derived from the fundamental quantities. We have to dive a bit deeper into the derived quantities in order to make it clear and have to derive some quantities by ourselves in order to establish a detailed understanding about the derived quantities. So let's start with length. Now when we multiply length by itself, we get area. And if we multiply this area again with length, we get volume. Ok that was simple. Now let's do something a little more complicated. Let's take length or to be precise, distance and divide it by time. Ok so now that we have two different fundamental quantities to work with, we have to make sure that both of these make it to the end result. So now when we divide distance by time, we get velocity. And velocity is basically how fast or slow you are travelling in a specific direction. We will learn about it in the upcoming videos. Now let's see what happens if we divide velocity with time. Remember we have to make sure that both of these fundamental quantities and their powers make it to the end result. So when we divide velocity with time, we get acceleration and acceleration is the change occurred in velocity over a period of time. Just think about it, you need a difference in time to measure velocity. But in my future videos we'll talk about velocity at an instance. It's kind of an oxymoron. But for now we have a lot more derivation to do. And deriving all the quantities will be beyond the scope of this video and we also have to add the concept of units to the fundamental quantities in order to make the derivations much easier to understand. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something and if you did, just spread the word, let your friends and classmates know about this channel. This is the High School Scientist signing off.